and welcome to another edition of A Shave and a Song, a show all about shaving with a straight razor while we listen to some great music at the same time. Welcome everybody. Happy Easter. I hope you're having a uh, great day today or will have a great day today or had a great day today. Uh, whenever it is that you watch the, uh, the show, I hope it's a good one. So let's see, what are we doing today? Shaving with my uh, Dovo Best Quality 6 8 rescaled with zebra wood. Gonna do, gonna shave with some of my homemade shaving soap today. This is called Oriental Trade Winds. It's uh, actually, it's one of my favorites. I, it took a while to kind of get a recipe down um, because it's kind of a secret. They don't share it much. <clears throat> you know, but uh, I found one and it does a nice job. I like it. I, I really do. Uh, some fine accoutrements. Italian citrus is what we'll be using as the aftershave today. And then, of course, finishing it off with Club Man Panade. <sighs> you just feel refreshed after you put this stuff on. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Start the old lathering process. Well, in honor of today being Easter, the Christian holiday, I've chosen artist and artist. Um, whose music kind of kind of crosses over into into several genres. Um, he's kind of had an interesting career and continues to have a great career. He uh, hails from South Bend, Indiana, so not real far from where I am living. Several hours, but not too far. I've been to South Bend many a time. And as I mentioned, he's a crossover artist, meaning that he appeals to, uh, to people who are fans of, of different genres. So he appeals to more than one genre. Oh boy, I really got her going this morning. Nice thing about this particular scent, or this particular soap, is since it's homemade, I control how much scent is in there, and I can really, really, really smell it right now. It's really, I wish you could too, it's really nice. So anyway, um, uh, the, the artist that I'm featuring today is Josh uh, Garls, uh, or Garls. Um, I've, not, I've heard both pronunciations, so uh, hopefully you'll forgive me if I don't choose the one that you are most familiar with. <clears throat> but as I said, he's a, uh, he's a crossover, uh, or at least I would consider him a crossover. He probably would not. I don't know, maybe he would. And uh, there's a reason that he appeals to so many different people, so many people that enjoy different types of music, is because he has a really, really incredible voice. It's a really nice, soulful voice. And he, when you combine his voice with his ability to, to write music, what you get is a really good solid song to listen to that you just enjoy. Uh, and, and if it reaches you on an emotional level, that's even better. And maybe if you enjoy it, you've already been reached on an emotional level. I don't know. I guess there's an argument for that as well. But today's song is entitled Rise. And uh, I'm going to be... There's, there's two versions of this song, Rise. There's his original version, which is more of a a slower, folky tune, and I like it. I really do. And then there is a second version of the song Rise, which is a remix by, I hope I pronounce this right, by um, uh, producer Kai Kai. And uh, the remix version comes from uh, Josh's 2012 album, Love and War, B-Sides and Remixes, and, and the album is just what it says it is. It's uh, either songs that he has released before and has uh, invited other people to come in and help him remix them, maybe shed some uh, new light on them or, or in a different way, or they're, they're songs that he might consider uh, B-Side songs. Starting the first pass, by the way, if you didn't know.
It's a good shave with this soap too. I like it. And the razor. Good combination. So now while Well, Josh has leanings in folk, Christianity, folk, music, if you will. This remix is anything but, f but sounding or feeling folkish. It has more of a electronic, techno, dance beat, if you will. And while admittedly that's not my go-to genre of music, I do like this version. <clears throat> the other version as well. As a matter of fact, that's one that I've chosen to, uh, to learn and play on the guitar myself. And I think while this song is, is, uh, Christian in nature. I think because of the way he presents it, the way he does it, it appeals to to a wide variety of people and, and maybe even a wide variety of beliefs. So in honor of today being Easter, I've chosen this particular song because if you listen to the words, uh, you can imagine that they would be the words that uh, that Jesus might be telling his disciples as they were having a conversation at the at the Last Supper in that upper room when he was telling them, "Hey, here's what's about to happen. You know, <clears throat> we're gonna I'm gonna go up the mountain. Uh, you know, Golgotha, and and this is all gonna take place. But I'm gonna rise. We're gonna be more powerful uh, because of it. It's all about love. It evokes some good imagination." Uh, on what that conversation might have been like. Again, I think you'll like it. Uh, he's, a, he's a great artist, good, good uh, singer, songwriter, very good, talented songwriter. So, from his Love and War B-Sides and Remixes, this is the, from 2012, this is the remix the Kai Kai remix, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, of Josh Garrels, Garrels, however you want to pronounce it, and Rise.
2012 Love and War B-sides and remixes. I'd encourage you to check out the, uh, the original version of the song so you can see how, how different it is and also that it stands on its own as well. You know, just because I'm featuring the remix doesn't mean that the original doesn't stand. It does. Both songs are, are really, really good. Let me clean my razor real quick and then I'll put on the aftershave. I always try to, you've probably seen me clean it with alcohol. Uh, the reason I do that is both to get some of the soap scum off, but also, um, also to help it dry. You know, you just don't want any moisture getting in, in here at all. You don't want it to rust out because you just, you cannot, you cannot clean inside here unless you just want to uh, drill that, that pin out and uh, remake everything, which I do not want to do. So there we go. My own uh, homemade shaving soap today, Oriental Trade Winds. Now I'm going to finish off with some fine accoutrements, Italian citrus. Mmm, smells good. Fine accoutrements has some really nice fragrances. There we go. Just rub it in. You know, you know by now. Pamper yourself. This is this is something that shouldn't be a chore that you do every day. It should be something that relaxes you, gets you going, whether it be at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. And then I'm gonna finish off in just a little bit with some Clubman Panade. So there we have it today, my friends. Happy Easter. Did a little Easter song, uh, uh, a song that spans Good Friday to Easter for you today in honor of the, uh, the holiday. Hope you have a great day or had a great day again. Whenever you listen to the show, I hope it's a good day for you. So like the channel if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and um, hit the alarm bell so you know when we release new videos. Try to do it every week. Uh, also, leave comments in the comment section of, uh, you know, thoughts, opinions, critiques, whatever. Uh, if you have a song or an artist you'd like me to listen to, make sure you put that in the comment section and I'll give it a listen and maybe feature it in an upcoming show. And as always, just spread the word. Tell your friends about it. We're a weird little show. Really weird. And it's a small niche of people that enjoy it, but uh, <clears throat> I enjoy bringing it to you and I hope you enjoyed watching. So tell others about it. Tell them to, to, to tune in. Give it a whirl. <sighs> and until next time, my friends, always, always live life, enjoy music, and happy shaving.